Hi, my name is Donna and this is Raspberry, one of my Rosy Bork parakeets. In today's video, I wanted to talk about birds and mites. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about mites is because I'm actually embarrassed to say and I'm mortified that my birds have mites. I'm I'm really ashamed, but I'm really upset and I'm mortified and I feel horrible for my birds because they're the ones who have to deal with the mites. I do too, of course. It's a lot of work to get rid of them. But I wanted to share with you of how I'm going to get rid of these mites and what they look like. I actually got footage of the mites and I'm going to show you what they look like. And just to let you know, there's different kinds of mites. Birds can have a different kind of mites and they can also have lice. So you really have to, you know, um, be wary of your bird and the behavior. And if you see any, a lot of scratching, preening, ball spots, feather issues, one of the things it could be is mites. Now, some of the common mites that pet birds can have are feather mites, air sac mites, scaly face and leg mites, and red mites and they can also get lice. How disgusting. So they're not all the same. When someone said my bird have mites, you gotta figure what kind of mites, right? And um, basically they are treated the same. They get the same treatment to get rid of the mites, which I'm gonna be talking about uh, very shortly. Air sac mites are sometimes called a canary lung mites because they're more common in a canaries and finches as well. But any bird can get them but they're just more common in canaries especially air sac mites are obviously in the air sac in the lungs in the trachea of canaries and uh, the symptoms of those would be your bird would be maybe uh, mouth breathing like gasping for air the tail might be bobbing and um, the sound will be different like their song it might be muffled and how they actually sound is it will just not sound normal and um, to make sure you got mites, you can take your bird to the vet to check for air sac mites. Sometimes it's hard to tell with the symptoms because it could be a respiratory problem as well and not air sac mites. One of my canaries um, had it, well the vet assumed my canary had it, so we treated for air sac mites and it went away. So I assume it had air, air sac mites, but she said the treatment that she gave him was for both respiratory and air sac mites but one way you can check if your bird is overloaded with air sac mites is if you put your bird in a dark room you hold your bird of course turn off the lights get a very strong flashlight and shine it on the trachea if your bird is really infested with the air sac mites you might be able to see um, little grains that look like pepper little black grains inside the trachea and that's not a good thing because once they become that bad it's pretty serious and you got to give them medication right away. And what it can do is, um, if you don't treat your bird for air sac mites, they can actually suffocate. They can just be so many of them build up in there and your bird will pass away. So you want to make sure you check your bird out for air sac mites if he's got a respiratory problem. Now another mite would be the scaly face mites or the scaly leg mites. The scaly face mites are most commonly seen in pet budgies. And you'll notice that if you're looking for symptoms for that, you, you will certainly notice because they will have crusties, crusty little areas around, especially their sear, around their mouth, around their eyes. It'd be all crusty and yucky looking. And what these mites do is they burrow into the skin and they burrow into the sear. I've seen some budgies where they've recovered from the scaly face mites and they have permanent scarring on their sear. So you don't want it to get to that point. If you see anything wrong, with your bird, your feathers or anything like that, take them to an avian vet to um, rule out, you know, the scaly face mites because it could be something else you never know, but it's a chance that it is scaly face mites if you see all the crusties all around them and budgies as well and finches and canaries get scaly leg mites and you'll know by looking at the legs, they don't look normal. They're all full of scales. They were just all crusty, they could be swollen, they could be red, the bird will be picking at it and you know, be in pain, it's very, very uncomfortable. But with canaries and finches, they do get another 
a problem with their legs that's not scaly mites. They almost look the same. I had a canary with that. It wasn't scaly leg mites. It was, um, oh geez, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a, like a buildup of carotene that canaries are really prone to in finches. So there's, there's the difference. You have to know if it is mites or if it's the other, um, just the buildup of carotene on the legs. There's a name for it. I'll put all the links down below in the description. You can go check it out because you don't want to treat for a mites if it's not mites, right? Because, you know, the treatment is using ivermectin where I live anyway. There's other treatments, other names, but that's what my vet gave me, ivermectin to treat for mites. But if your bird doesn't have mites, it's not good to give the medication because it hurts, you know, the organs of the bird. So you have to be careful and just make sure you know what your bird has before you give it any treatment. Another mite would be feather mites. Basically these mites, they live on the skin of the bird and they eat away at the, the, not really the feather. Well, sometimes you can see birds actually, they got little holes in their feather and they eat at the, um, the, the carotene, the oils of the feather and they ruin the bird's feather. You see some birds with bad feather condition, you know, the feathers are breaking up. They don't, they just don't look smooth. It could be feather mites, but any mite will do this to your bird because they're very itchy and scratchy and the bird might start plucking at itself, pulling the feathers, scratching just all, all the feathers will look all ruffled up. So if you have a bird with any feather issues, always you wanna check it for mites. And birds can also have lice. Lice feed on dead skin cells and feather and dust just on the bird's skin. And they can stay on there for quite a while. And they actually, lice can run pretty fast. You can actually look uh, through your bird's feathers with a flashlight and magnifying glass and you might be able to see them. You might be able to see little eggs um, from, from the lice and your bird will have like a, a ratty, like moth eating appearance. Um, because of these these lice and you know the other things as well any of the mice that eat away at your bird and your skin the feathers are not going to be looking normal and mites and lice they can actually bite humans but um they can't live on human blood so they won't um, multiply if they're just living on humans they need the bird blood to survive and multiply so they can bite you so you have to be careful you know when you're cleaning the cage if a mite gets on you they can obviously bite you, but it won't uh, fulfill the needs of the mite, you know, to survive with the human, human blood. So I just want to let you know that yes, they can bite humans and other pets, but they can't live off of them and they can't multiply from that kind of blood. They need a bird's blood to survive and multiply. And the most common mite that is found amongst bird owners is the red mite. And that's what I'm dealing with is the red mite. Um, breeders, um, bird shelters, anywhere there's a lot of birds, there's probably red mites. And if you have an aviary outside, there's probably red mites. A lot of the wild birds carry red mites and obviously they'll be in the environment, they'll be outside, which will crawl on to your birds. And you know, I do put my birds outside in the summer, not uh, permanently, they go in and out but I do have an aviary that my bird um, Kingsley went out to and a few of my birds were out there in the summer and I'm thinking maybe that's how I got these red mites. Now I did honestly have red mites like way over 10 years ago. I got rid of them, I haven't seen them for a while. And um, the reason I found them is because um, Kingsley, my king parrot is having skin issues and he's lost some feathers on his head. He doesn't look so good. But um, he's been to the vet several times and we're trying to figure out what the problem was. He got his viral testing, he got a, a fungal, like a scraping of his skin. They all came back negative and we're gonna go to the next step. So I was trying to think what could be the reason we didn't know, we're just guessing why he's like that. So I decided to check for mites. And how you check is you want to uh, pull off anything that's attached to your cage. Like I have purchased that you know, screw onto the cage. I thought, what are the chances there's some in there? Because I, I do clean very, very well. I clean all the time. My bird room is not messy, it's not dirty. I really, really clean. And I never really seen any mites, you know, for a long time. I check all the time. So I thought, Kingsley was scratching, 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 driving me crazy and him crazy. So I thought, I'm gonna check. I did one of, one of his perches and surprise, surprise, I saw three mites there. 
and of course I had a <laughs> I had a fit I was freaking out and I thought wow what are the chances this is the reason Kingsley's like that and he's uh, basically allergic to the mites and that's why he scratches and loses his feathers just like a dog or cat they have a, a flea allergy some dogs can have fleas and you'll never know it some dogs will scratch like crazy and have a huge reaction that's what I think Kingsley has but we're not totally sure but I found the mites I talked to my vet and I got the ivermectin which is right here in a jar basically what this is I put it in his mouth it's you have to know the dose so don't just go out and get this and give it to your bird it has to be measured and you have to weigh your bird and you have to give him a special dose so my vet told me the best way to get rid of these red mites is to clean just to clean she likes to do it naturally because this medicine does um, like I mentioned before it does hurt you know it's not good for your bird it can hurt their liver and kidneys their insides you know no medicine is good for anybody or any animal so she likes to do it naturally but since um, Kingsley was scratching and had all those issues she assumed that it's an allergy so she just gave me medicine for Kingsley none of my other birds and basically I have to clean everything I do have this spray that I might use what's it called avian insect liquid eider I don't have my glasses on but here it is a lot of bird people use this I'm not saying to go out and use this you have to do your research and make sure this is safe and, and what you're using but I'm going to be spraying this around um, my birds cages and on the ends of the perch perches I haven't used it yet but I'm going to use that so what um, I have given Kingsley two doses is 10 days apart because if you give it once the mites eggs that are around can hatch again after 10 days I also want to mention there are these um, little round metal like what is it called parasite protectors for your birds I, they're not in Canada anymore but they're all over the world they smell like mothballs there is mothballs in there I believe but don't use them they're not safe for birds they can cause seizures cancer for yourself as well and um, liver organ problems you know some people say oh, I have on my bird case they use no problem but in four or five years a bird can die from cancer they're not safe you're sticking them on your bird's cage right in their face and they have to breathe that in I've smelled them before I remember years and years ago I used one the smell is horrific it stinks and I can't imagine a bird having to sit there to smell that all day so don't use that do it naturally so my vet told me to clean everything and you know if you've been watching my channel for a long time I have a, a bird room with all my birds and there are lots of cages and lots of hanging ropes and, and perches and whatnot but I had a lot of cleaning to do I've already done the cleaning I took out every perch every toy everything it took me all day and luckily I'm home now because I'm in quarantine from this virus right now if you're watching the video while it's happening so I'm kind of glad I'm home and available to do all this cleaning because otherwise I don't know when I'd be able to do it so I've had to clean it twice I have to clean it twice and um, it's an all-day job for me if you just have one bird in one cage you're lucky because you can get rid of them just like that you probably won't even need this medication you just gotta kill the mites right and get rid of them there is also um, this earth that people use called I'm not sure if I can say it right diotomacus diotomosis something like that earth which is safe around birds but not on the bird and not in their cages like maybe on your door your ledges um, powder is not good for birds but people have used it in nest box or whatnot but just do your research I'm not telling you to use it I'm just letting you know that there is another option to use that powder but you have to use it where your birds can't get near it or breathe it in because it's not good for anybody to breathe in powder but um, people have said that have, have worked and another um, thing that I've heard is you can put a, a drop of Vaseline on the ends of the perches and if the mites go to crawl in there they will get stuck and they will die so that's a good thing but your bird cannot um, touch that Vaseline right you don't want them to get into the Vaseline so you have to put it right at the ends where the cage is so your bird cannot get it so again use your own judgment if you're going to try that so these mites these red mites is what they do is they're like vampires basically they come out at night go on your bird and suck their blood they drink blood that's what red mites do they drink blood 
and crawl off your bird, go back into the cage and they hide in cracks and crevices in your cage or even in your house if they crawl on your wall, in your baseboards, anywhere. They're like fleas, they're really hard to get rid of. So um, they will hide in any cracks or crevices. You wanna check everything in your bird's cage. So you wanna start by checking the ends of the perches that are attached to the sides of the cages. You wanna check um, toys, the links that hold up the toys, that hang up the toys. You wanna check the links, anything that undoes, any little small little crevice, even inside the toys that will hide in the toys. You should shake them off and, and wash them with hot water or just get new toys. And um, water dishes or food bowls that have any little cracks or crevices in them. You know, the hooks that you hook on the, if you got the bowls that hook on the side of the cage, they can go inside those little, where the hooks connect to the bowl. Um, they can go anywhere in blankets, they can go in your stand, any hole in your cage, even between the bars of the cage where your cage connects on the corners, it's pretty tight in there. They can hide in there. And so I just want to tell you how you can check for mites. Hi, sweetie pie, you're such a good boy. What you do is um, you get a white sheet or a light colored sheet. You put it on your bird's cages at night when they sleep. You cover the cage and remember to leave a little opening so they can breathe. And so in the morning, if you take off this sheet, you can look for red dots, which would probably be the mites that are just freshly full of blood. Or you look for black little droppings, which is the mites droppings because they drink blood and they poop black which is blood afterwards right so they're black dots similar to a flea and you might be able to see them but always check especially in the perches I find where these mites were was where Kingsley sits on the perch like at night the birds have a roosting perch and they'll sit there so wherever the bird sleeps at night that's where the mites will crawl bite your bird and go back in so always look on the especially the um the perch that your bird sleeps on, that's probably where they'll be. You know, sometimes they're not on all the perches, they'll be in one perch because that's where they've been eating the bird. So now I don't want this video to be too long, but it will, <laughs> it was gonna be long. So I'm gonna show you some footage of when I was filming of the mites and you can go have a look. They're gross, they're disgusting, but you have to know what they look like. And uh, all right, so here goes. I don't want them to fall off. Maybe there's only one. No, there's a couple. Oh, can you see them? I don't want them crawling on my hand. Anyway, see that one moving? Yeah, right there. But um, yeah, that's what they look like. This was in my canary cage. All right, I gotta go rinse it now. All right, here's another one. You can see the little black dot on the right side. Not the stuff in the middle, that's just rust I believe from the uh, metal clip that was holding it on the cage there that is a mite and it has blood in it because it's dark and we can see it so it's full of blood all right so I just took off the millet holder treat holder and look see the dot there right there so these mites go in every little nook and cranny so you really have to take your whole cage apart to really rinse with steam and hot water and then use soap and water um, to clean the cage. And you're gonna have to do this often, every day if you can. And um, yeah, gotta keep it clean. All right, so I think, oh, I know so. I found some mites in this cuddle bone and this was in my canary's cage. See all those black, not this black, this is probably just dirt, the black flecks. But see all the black flecks on the plastic? I believe that's red mite droppings and it looks like black, like black, black pepper because they drink blood and it comes out black. So when I open this up, there's probably mites under there. So I wanted to show you what they look like. All right, I guarantee they're under here. Hmm. If not, they were here. Oh, and there's droppings. Or, do you see the black stuff? They're moving. Do you see it? Ew. Where did it go? It crawled on my hand. Anyway, I seen them moving around. Let's see if there's one on here. Yeah, that little red dot. Sorry, it's not blurry, but or it is blurry, I mean. But you can see right there. Let's see if I, I wash it, what happens. This is hot water, now my hands are getting all hot. See all the black disappear? 
Oh, I'm sure I'm going to find more. If you didn't see that one, I'll find more. And what I'm going to do is get a piece of tape and I can put pressure tape on the mite and the mite will stick to the tape. And that way I can show you and show my bed as well. All right, so let's see if there's anything behind um, this perch. Sometimes they're not all in one perch, or all they're not in all perches, they were in one perch. That, yeah, there's some there, there's two of them, right? Are you focused on that? See them moving? Uh, I can't see. There's two of them. Oh, okay. Just hold it still. Any other right top? there. Hopefully you can see them. There are mites, they're just not moving. There's a few moving, hopefully you can see them. Can you see them moving? Yeah. Oh, Disgusting. So you know what? I'm just gonna wash them away because I don't want them. Yeah, they're starting to wake up over here. Yeah. My husband's my helper today. Okay. So I'm gonna wash them all away. This is like hot, hot water. And hopefully they all go down the drain. I wash that cage. So I have to do this to each cage, every cage. And I got some mite spray that I'm gonna be spraying on them. And I'm gonna wash each perch. And this was my Java Finch cage, the poor baby. Oh, so bad for all of them, and I feel really sick about all of this. So I noticed all this droppings behind this dowel perch. And I'm quite sure there were mites there, or they're still there. So I have to take the perch off and see what's there. I have to wash it, of course. But this is what you wanna look for when you're looking for red mites. Look at the ends of the perches, remove the perches and check for any black pepper-like droppings, which is dried blood, because that's what the mites poop. They eat blood and they poop it out and it turns black. Sort of like fleas. Fleas eat, eat blood and then you see the little black pepper-like flakes on your dog's skin, which is flea dirt. So this is like mite dirt. So let's have a look and see if there's any mites under here. So here's what it looks like. I didn't really see anything on the actual perch, but there could be. I'm just gonna wash that. I'm using like scalding water, and then I'm gonna scrub them all. Scrub all my cages with soap and water. So now we're just gonna blast these cages with the hose on jet. And I'm gonna remove all the perches so I can clean every nook and cranny. So there you go, that was the red mite. And they actually run pretty fast, right? They're different sizes because they, they're, the small ones are babies and the bigger ones are, are adults, I assume. So I hope my video has helped you learning about mites and what to do um, for mites, but just do your research and uh, do what's best for your bird. And um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye. You wanna say bye?